Good morning and welcome to Daybreak. I'm your host, Brittany Lawfer. And filling in for Ryan Bailey this week, I'm Vince Mediate. This week on Daybreak, we have your campus, city, and national news, and an interview with Point Park senior, cinema senior, Kaylee Fitzgerald, and some actors on her upcoming film, 40 Seconds. And we have all the weather, entertainment, and sports reports for you. Plus, Jillian Trainer is joining us after her semester abroad in London making chicken and dumplings. All that and more straight ahead on Daybreak. Coming back to campus after winter break, you might have noticed a bare spot in the bottom of Frontier Hall. University President Paul Hennigan announced on January 13th via email that Osteria 100 has closed permanently. After opening its summer of 2012, it continuously failed to impress university students due to high prices and reported poor service. The email from Hennigan stated the university is searching for a new partner for the Village Park location. The university recognizes Osteria was an investment that did not work out. This past week had a historical yet monumental moment for the dancers of Point Park University. The Youth America Grand Prix's longtime coach and head of ballet at the university, Peter Mers, prepared his students to compete at Upper St. Clair Theater. The dancers endured intense workshop classes here on campus to prepare for the international ballet competition. YAGP awards over $250,000 in scholarships to leading dance schools worldwide. If you will be here during the 2014-2015 school year, expect to see more new faces around campus. Thanks to the addition of the men's and women's track and field team, approximately 25 new student athletes will be welcomed to the university. The increased enrollment of student athletes was also aided with the recent additions of women's junior varsity soccer and basketball. The Globe quoted Director of Athletics Dan Swaga saying, quote, ideally, athletics are a community builder. I think it brings some talented students here, end quote. Public, Point Park Public Safety is finding new ways to keep Point Park students safe, and the university is taking one step toward this by introducing a card swipe system. A program that is currently in the works will soon connect dispatch with card swipe stations, allowing them to easily track students' whereabouts. Public safety is taking additional measures and keeping their students safe by expanding point alerts to the Oakland area. The question is still up in the air on whether or not students will be required to swipe their ID on the shuttle when traveling to locations such as Oakland, the waterfront, and East Liberty. And that's all for campus news. Now here's Vince with City News. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. In City News this week, new Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto is certainly taking charge his first few weeks in office. His staff has told reporters that he not only is working 12-hour days, but he is also working through the weekends, putting together new ideas as well as old ideas that he had simply by working with the city government. Peduto recently met with the city's 311 service to ensure complaints were being accommodated accordingly. The mayor said he enjoys the company of the media and he will always want to inform the public of his new developments. And the story continues with Peduto. Due to the extreme weather changes in the past few weeks, there has been a significantly growing amount of potholes around the city. Due to a large number of complaints as well as a safety concern, last week Peduto ordered crews to a 72-hour long what he calls a pothole blitz. He was determined to reach a goal of 400 to 500 potholes by this past weekend. The large pothole increase is caused by the frequent freeze-thaw weather. And thanks to Community Blue, check this out. To stay warm when you're watching and when you're waiting in the cold for buses, when you are waiting for a bus, there are record low temperatures. You can stay warm because inside the shelter there are heaters and they are now being referred to as bus stop warming stations. Inside there is a button that can be pushed to activate it. 
Also, there are motion sensors that allow the heat to go on. So far, there are four stations. Three of them are in the downtown area at the Boulevard of the Allies in Stanwix, Liberty in 9th and 5th and Ross. Finally, the last station is near the Rivers Casino on the North Shore. Wednesday morning, there was a gas leak in Mount Lebanon off Washington Road. As a result, several businesses were evacuated as well as a portion of the road itself. The leak was caused by work crews building a new restaurant and a worker accidentally cut the wrong pipe. For a time, there was a very high risk of an, an explosion. No one luckily was hurt. And that's all we have for your city news this morning. Now back to you, Brittany, at the couch. Thanks, Vince. Coming up next on Daybreak, we will have a national news report for you. A sit down with Kaylee Fitzgerald and some actors from her upcoming film, 40 Seconds. We'll be right back.